Day 61. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139, 9, 10, and 18. Certainly we are aware of the enemy's tactics to get us to doubt the Lord and his goodness or to question whether he has forsaken us or is really for us all the time. He wants us to believe the lie that our shepherd no longer guides us when we make mistakes or even when we willfully choose not to follow him. But this is not consistent with the word of God nor the pattern of how he has dealt with his children throughout history. Remember Jonah, Peter, David, Moses, even Adam and Eve. He constantly pursues us with a good plan for us regardless of our decisions. There is also a more subtle deception of his to get us to doubt ourselves, to question whether we are truly following, whether we are really faithful, or missing it in some ambiguous, unknowable way. Most Christians have heard something along the lines of, God is for you, but are you really for him? Certainly God will correct us when we are living outside of his glory or running away from him, but he never intended us to live under a constant cloud of suspicion and religious scrutiny where we are worried about straining out the smallest gnat. Otherwise, how could the infallible word of God allow David to write these words and still be truthful? From Psalm 26, 1, Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Now, David wasn't lying, nor was he whitewashing over his past sins. He was just seeing his life from God's perspective, forgiven and confident. Ask the Lord to remove any accusation of the enemy or a religious spirit, the judgments of men, and also any self-doubt. Then ask God to search you and test you, Psalm 26, 2, from his loving perspective, because he is greater than our hearts, 1 John three twenty. If he reveals anything, confess it and work toward a place where you know that you are clean, forgiven by grace and confident in this. Then you can echo David's words for yourself.